Hello and welcome to a year six lesson. We are having a reconstruction of Operation Montserrat. I will keep you up to date on all the um, data. As I'm sure you're aware, the island of Montserrat is currently the most dangerous place on earth and the two Freyholz volcano is threatening to erupt and there's a hurricane on course to hit the island. Now it's your job as a emergency response team to work together as one last team to track the approaching hurricane and monitor the volcano and try to evacuate the residents like. And the network will transmit data about the hurricane and volcano. Now it's really important to remember that every five minutes in this mission equals one hour on the island of Montserrat. Now the satellite is currently being upgraded but we can transmit the correct data. And we've been informed that Mission Command can show you the launch footage taken three days ago. But the astronauts are currently performing the upgrade. So let's go live over to the view from Mission Command. This is the launch that occurred three days ago. So we've got five seconds to lift off. And we have lift off. Now the shuttle needs to achieve a speed of about seven and a half kilometers per second before, uh, before it can achieve a low Earth orbit. So it looked as if it was a good launch. I didn't hear any reports. Probably a bit bumpy, but uh, on the whole, a very good mission. Uh, it's a very good launch. Now we're going to be returning shortly to Michigan Mission Command to see live coverage of the astronauts performing the upgrade on the satellite. While we wait, I've got some important instructions for the whole team. Now, data and communication officers, as part of your job to chase up the reports from the hurricane and volcano teams, now you should get them every five to six minutes. That is crucial for the people on Montserrat that we keep up to date, keep them up to date with all the information so they can be evacuated safely. Okay, we can now go over to Mission Command uh, to see live coverage of the astronauts performing the upgrade. Now, they're attaching themselves to this 50 foot or 16 meter robotic arm called the Canada arm to hold the satellite while they work. Now in a few minutes, uh, Mission Command should give us a code for the initial signal and what the satellite is transmitting, uh, I'll send you the contact addresses to receive both the volcano and the hurricane data streams. So we'll leave those astronauts to perform that upgrade. Now hurricane and volcano teams, you're responsible, keep, you're responsible for keeping track of the approaching hurricane and the active volcano. So please make sure you get any necessary information to any teams that might need your analysis. Your work is, your work is vital to the life and the well-being of the residents of Montserrat. So good luck. So can I get the evacuation team to the front, please, and the research team? Two really important questions for you, and I'd like the research team to help you as well. <laughs> Any other I'm the runner of the team. I'm waiting for my information to come. We're just trying to find out um, a question that um, Commander Ash told us. To So, do we want how, can we, how are we going to get them up there? No information. If information coming. If information coming. Can I have your updates? Got any data for me? The response team Bramble Airport Observation Tower is reporting wave height in excess of 12 feet with wind gusts of about 80 miles per hour. Because of the high winds and the ash fall, all air traffic has been suspended within a 200 mile radius. So you can no longer use Bramble Airport or the helicopters. Okay, so well, that's the situation at the moment. Carry on with the good work. Can I have the hurricane or a member of the hurricane team to the front please? Okay, hurricane team now. Um, I'm going to send it to the front. Harris has not been evacuated yet. So we do have, uh, I think it is, let me just see. Three burns victims. Now they're still alive, but three burns victims, which have been rushed to the hospital 
in Plymouth. So that's the situation on Monster right at the moment. Thank you very much, team.